Hey guys, hi everyone, how are you guys doing out there? It's your girl Twin T, and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel. Thank you all for being here, for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and for always supporting your girl in every way, shape, or form. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Those of you sending me donations using the thank you buttons underneath my video. For those of you who are definitely supporting me emotionally and phys physically, of course, those who are close to me. Well, still, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say there's not much people close to me, but still, there are people who are close to me. So, close by me, that is. But anyway, thank you guys so much. And everyone who's always liking the video, thumbsing up the video, and watching them. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And watch them ads. That's how you keep your girl going, all right? So, let's jump into your message and let's see what's going on with your divine masculine, what your next steps are here. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth in... Then will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. I was, um, it's like I, I started to see myself doing the reading before I even began. And I almost asked a question. <laughs> I want to ask the question. All right, let's see what's going on. What are our masculine's next steps? What are their next steps, please? What? Hey, what are their next steps? What is this about? Now you got the King of Swords, so there's something that they're coming into a revelation about. Something is gonna be finalized here. Something is that they're gonna see. Some of your divine masculines, it, it, it's like they have finally found your true self, and they're ready. To put on that crown here that they have off of their head for so so long this person is is about to speak some truth this person is coming in to talk to you here you got the five of swords so there's a return whoever this divine masculine is they're planning a return this person may oh i was just gonna say this person may be um experiencing some heartbreak but look look at the overall energy so some of your divine masculines may be experiencing a, a, a heartbreak right now and this is because of a decision that they may have made so they are now coming to that conclusion that the decision that i made is what caused that heartache and pain so they may not fully be healed yet so they're coming back like partially healed like they have worked on some things, but there are some things that they have not yet finalized. So they're trying to make a decision. There's two swords here. There's conversations that they're coming forward with. They're talking to themselves. They want to talk to you. They're praying. They're finding things out. And the three, I forgot, the three of swords. So there's all clarity, all clarity. Everything's about to be clear. Why things happened, things they want to say, the why, the, the whys of a why they are feeling the way they are feeling. Some of your divine masculines, um, it's like they regret going back to the 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 past situations that they went back to. There's a a big feeling or sense of regret here. What else can you tell us in regards to what they're about to do? Coming out in pairs. You have the five of wands. Yeah, so you see, they're a bit defensive. Whoever these divine masculines are, they're coming back, but they're coming back a bit defensive, a bit protective. Because it's like they're trying to heal that broken heart that they have. And you have the Eight of Pentacles. So your divine masculines are planning on working on this connection here. They're planning on working on their emotions. They're planning on working on themselves. They're planning on working on healing. So they're about to put in some work here. They know that whatever they're about to do is going to be hard. But they, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. They're putting in that work. With you around here. Yep. They're putting in that work. And on the bottom, you got a queen of swords. So it seems whatever is going on with your divine masculine is bringing them into clarification in regards to you. So they're seeing you in a new light. They're seeing you differently. They're seeing truths about you. So they are divinely guided here. There's a lot that's going on around their divine masculine. That's why they're coming back a little bit defensive. 
even though their heart is open, they're still a bit defensive. It's like, it's like they're coming in, but then um, they're scared. They're, there's a scared energy. Because they are returning. You got two fives on the board. So th there's a massive change that they're going through. And everything that's that's happening right now is in regards to their passion, their desires, going back, experiencing the life that they truly needed or wanted to live. Some of you may work with this person and you may notice that this person is not smiling as much as they used to. It's because of the hurt that they're feeling. What else can you tell us, please? And the star. So that change is definitely hap happening because your divine masculines are working through their pain and their hurt. They're doing a lot of praying. They're healing. And they're having that hope that things will definitely get better. That they will be able to speak your truth. You got the Ace of Swords. That's a lot of clarity that's happening here. That's a lot of truth. That's a lot of action that's happening. So they're being pushed to see some kind of truth here. They're being pushed. Your maskings are starting to see like how precious they are with this, like with this pearl here. And how precious you are too. It's like, again, you're their light. You're that lighthouse. And you're who is going to be guiding them. Out of all the people in their life, you are the only one that shows them happiness and joy. What else are they planning on doing here? Moving. Moving. Some of your divine masculines will be moving. Some of them changing location, moving, changing jobs. Whatever they're doing, they know that wherever they're moving to, they're going to be happier. They're going to be happier. Some of your divine masculines are even moving from that... um that place where they're all sad and depressed and not talking to anybody. They're coming out of that energy as well. All these swords, page of ones in the reverse. Yeah. They, they had no, they had no dream. They had no passion. They had, they, they don't have anything here going on for them. They don't. And that's why all these changes are, are, are starting to happen. Because the other divine masculines, they feel like letting go. They feel like um they feel like everything that they were about, everything that they are trying to achieve, it was like all for nothing because everything that they attended to, that they wasted their time on, it was just causing them hurt and pain. So they're coming to these realizations and they're about to move. They're about to take action. 757. These divine maskings are going to be taking some action and they're going to be moving. So it's like whatever they did or they are about to do, it's going to cause them to like walk away from that thing. So whether they're walking away from a job, walking away from someone, leaving a house behind, leaving an apartment behind, it, they're going to be moving. And it's because of that decision that they, they are going to make, whatever that decision is. Like they know in order to get out of the, the, the pain and hurt that they're feeling, they got to move. They have to move. And you got the judgment. So they have made up their mind. They have made that decision. And it is for their happiness. What's on the top? The nine of pentacles. Yeah, so they're going to be set free. They're going to be set free. Free, single, disengaged. And they're working on every single thing that, need, that they need to improve their life. That's why things are so slow here. That's why things are so slow because it's like a process that they have to go through. They have to walk away from whatever the situation is they're hanging on to. They have to then work on healing themselves. Some of them, again, may need to find a new job, may need to find a new house, and it's taking some time. But they're definitely moving and taking action. That's the most important thing. And the Queen of Swords is out again. So your person realizes that you are their true match. That you are the one for them. That's why they're keeping an eye on you. And this person is moving towards you. Because they now have clarity about who you are. Let's get some messages about this connection here. Keep the door open. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which open for you. Ha! Huh. So you see what happened to your divine mind. That's why we got all this clarity. 
your masculines were busy hanging on to those things of their past, those people, those places, those jobs that didn't mean them any good, that they didn't love, that they didn't want to be in, to the point that they missed that you truly love them and you were there to help them. But now they're seeing it. All that clarity that showed up, they're seeing it. What else, please? Should we know about what's going on with them? And free yourself. See that? Free yourself. You don't need to be in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. Yep. They're freeing themselves. Setting themselves free. Setting themselves free. And you get third party situation. Exactly what we were just talking about. Other people may be interfering with this relationship. And dimming its full potential. All these third party situation. Not just a relationship. Everything that I just mentioned. It's a third party situation. That's their karmic. That's their third party. The job. The people. The places that they live. That's what was interfering with your connection. And now, put yourself first. Loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what they're doing. That's why they can now see the love in you. No, that's why now they can see your true beauty and your true intentions for them. Because now they're experiencing self-love. If you don't have self-love, there's no way you can see when someone truly loves you. But now that they do, they can clearly see King of Swords. Express your love. It is important to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. And they're coming to express their true love. Yep. They're coming to express it. What? They have nothing to lose, right? They have nothing to lose. So they're going to come and tell you how they truly feel. That's why they, they are receiving this clarity. And that's why they are coming back even though they are broken hearted. Because they know where that love truly lies. With you. They're going to express themselves to you. This has been your message, everyone. To purchase your book or a reading, go to twindyflamedy.square.site and the specials on the bracelets, the precious, precious stone jewelry, it's on now. And you can find them on my website, twindyholisticboutique.square.site. It is uh, 50% off of every piece of jewelry that I have in the store. It, it's like a new season. I, you, you, you clear things out so you can put, um, get new ones in and I can make some new designs and stuff. So it's 50% off all of the jewelry in my store. So find them at twindyholisticboutique.square.site. So get your chakra bracelets and also your healing bracelets. And don't forget that you also receive a mantra with your bracelets. And it depends on what kind of bracelet you purchase. All right. So see you guys. Love you. Let go, let God. And thanks to everyone who will support me and participate in this jewelry sale love you let go and let god later